Hey everybody, this is Craig Cuddle, the director of Nature Alliance School, coming in today to talk about a couple of different rope styles that you might come across and which ones we think are better or worse for um, homesteading, survival, camping, any number of things that you could use them for. The inside of each of these Waiting on word from city or state officials to see uh, what's going on, what they can tell us So what we have here are we have a climbing rope and a rappelling rope and um, those are different uses that we could utilize it for because I've led some climbing expeditions and quite a number of rappelling events. Um, there's two very big differences about these ropes and I want to make sure you understand. Uh, first off, um, this is not a uh, video about climbing and rappelling at all. It's just about the rope itself. Okay. So basically what you have, and I'll pull out a small section of this rope so you can see what I'm referring to, is you have a climbing rope. In this particular case, uh, when I hold it up, it does that. You can see how limp it is. Basically, it falls back on itself, whereas the dynamic rope falls back on itself. But when I do this sort of thing, you can see that it doesn't bend real easy right through here, whereas right there, it bends rather easily. Okay, and I, I know it's hard to be able to feel this but you can really feel this and the reason I say that is let's say for example that I'm going to tie a figure eight for example in this rope okay and as I do that you can see that it's fairly easy to do with the climbing rope because number one it's made to do that okay that's the main thing and it's really easy to dress it up it it bends well and it ties well and so I'm, it's really easy to make that figure eight however and I'm not saying it's impossible but as I try to make a figure eight with the um, static rope which is the repelling rope then what I run into is that it's not as easy to tie and again it's not that it's impossible it's just that it's not as easy to tie and so because of that you have different uses for it. So the reason I'm pointing this out is because you can't get any better rope than climbing rope or rappelling rope. Okay? And the reason I say that is because they are incredibly hardy and they're incredibly useful and strong, uh, several hundred pounds of pressure that they can withstand. Um, you can find climbing clubs where you can buy used climbing rope that is in, in incredible shape for uh, a lot less than you would buy it new. So if you buy this rope new, it's about 200 foot of climbing rope. You buy about 200 foot of climbing rope, you're going to pay $150, $200 for it, depending on uh, the size and make and any number of things. You buy a 100 foot of repelling rope, you're going to pay about 100 bucks. So it's about a dollar a foot. Now, with that said, you can get other rope a lot cheaper, but you're not going to find anything as strong as this. Okay, so that's why if you can find climbing clubs and stuff of that nature, you can get a lot of rope. It might have an abrasion on it, which makes it unusable for a climber. You don't want to risk your life hanging off a 200 foot cliff to a rope that's got abrasions on it. So but that doesn't mean you can't tie hay down with it or you can't rope a calf with it or you can't utilize it to, to uh, beef up a piece of equipment or you can't utilize it to set up a shelter or what, any number of things. So it would be my recommendation if you're going to get some for that, get some of this climbing rope referred to as dynamic rope because it's a lot easier to tie and utilize. It's not nearly as um, stiff as like a repelling rope is. So you got a real useful tool there and you get it used but you can't buy as good a rope for the price that you get for a used climbing rope. So thanks for joining us. With that said, um, if you have any questions then shoot us an email, uh, give us a thumbs up on the video if you like it, subscribe to our channel, recommend that your friends subscribe to our channel because if you do that then we get more and more people and the more and more people we get on here the more stuff people send me and I can give it away to you guys. So thanks for watching and we really appreciate it. Come on join in, let's learn together. Waiting on word from city or state officials to see uh, what's going on, what they can tell us.